Have you ever wondered how to create stunning 3D graphics and animations on the web? Well, it is possible today. In this video, I am going to introduce you to 3JS, a powerful JavaScript library for creating 3D graphics and animations on the web. With 3JS, you can create all kinds of 3D stuff including games, beautiful visualizations and even virtual reality experiences. We can create 3D objects, apply materials and textures to them, animate them and also we can import 3D objects into our applications from Blender or any other 3D modeling softwares. 3JS is built on top of WebGL, providing an easy to use API that allows developers to focus on creating 3D scenes and objects without having to worry about the complexities of managing the underlying WebGL code. WebGL works by leveraging the power of the GPU on the user's computer to accelerate the rendering of 3D graphics. It allows developers to create 3D objects, apply textures, and perform complex animations all within a web browser. Now I hope you understand what 3JS is and what you can do with this amazing technology. Now let's create a simple 3JS application but before that we need to understand a few concepts such as scene, camera, object and renderer. So starting off a scene in 3JS is like a container for all of the objects, camera and lights that make up our 3D world. Now in order to view your 3D scene you need a camera in 3JS. A camera defines the position of objects that you are rendering in your scene. An object in 3JS is a 3D shape or model that you want to render in your scene. It can be simple geometric shape like a cube or sphere or a complex 3D model that you have imported from a 3D modeling tool like Blender or Maya. The renderer is what actually draws your 3D scene onto the screen or particularly in one of your HTML DOM element. So now in order to use 3JS we need to install first. Let's navigate to some folder. I am inside code with Masood. Now in order to create a new 3JS project, just open your command prompt and write the following command as npm install dash dash save 3. Now you can also use 3JS by using a CDN link but I recommend to install 3JS package. After that we need a build tool such as Vite. So just run this command to install Vite as npm install dash dash save dash dev Vite. And finally in order to run your 3JS application you can use this command as npx vite but I am not going to run my project now because we have not written any code yet. So let's create a very simple 3JS application where we have a rotating 3D cube on the screen. Now in order to achieve this we need to create index.html file first and inside that let's use emit to write the boiler code. Let's change the title of our app to getting started with 3JS and let's create a style tag and inside that let's give our body a basic styling of padding and margin set to 0. After that let's write a script tag before the body ends and set the type of it to module and src to period main.js. Now let's create our main.js file as well. So this is the file responsible to write all the 3JS code. Now to display a scene in the browser we need an element. So we can add an element in HTML and render our scene on it but I will create the element dynamically using JavaScript later. So let's start coding our very first program in 3JS that will display a rotating cube on the screen. So we are inside main.js file. Now the very first thing is that we need to import 3JS library. I am importing everything from 3JS and storing it inside 3 object. Next let's create a scene. Then we need a camera to view objects in the scene. I will use perspective camera. It contains few settings as parameters. So the first one is field of view. It determines how much of the scene will be visible. I will set it to 75. Next we need to set the aspect ratio of the camera. I will set it to window.inner width divided by window.inner height which means it will match the aspect ratio of the canvas or window where the 3D scene is being rendered. Then I will set the near to 0.1 which means that any objects closer to the camera than this distance will be clipped off and not rendered. And let's set the far to 1000 which means that this is the maximum distance that objects can be seen from the camera and objects farther away than this distance will be clipped off. Now that we have camera in place. Let's initialize the renderer and I will be using WebGL renderer which is a common renderer for the web. As we know that renderer takes in the scene and camera and our scene will then hold objects. 
So we need to do some basic settings for our renderer. So I will set the size to fit on the screen and I will mount the renderer to DOM. Now we have everything ready and just need to create and append objects in the scene and of course to animate them as well. So first of all let's create our cube object. So I have created a cube with material and geometry applied. So let's add this to our scene and make a camera to look at the cube by changing the Z axis to 5. And this will make the camera to move a little bit farther from the cube otherwise the camera will come inside the cube which will make it difficult to view the cube. Now the only thing is that we need to render our scene and camera. Let's run our program and there you go our 3D cube appears with material color and perfect geometry. Now in order to animate our cube we can use request animation frame to make recursive animation and draw the renderer again and again in every render. Let's change the x and y axis to rotate by 0.01. Now this will make the cube rotate as well and now it looks amazing. So guys that's it for this video. We have looked at the introduction to 3JS and we have learned the basic concept behind this amazing technology. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you need a complete course around 3JS. If I get enough comments I will create a complete course on 3JS with some projects. And by the way if you like to watch why you need to switch to Tailwind as soon as possible watch this video.